Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Words Cannot Express. How happy I am to have finished the volleyball. <laughs> Alright, let's be sure to check that indeed, like, you know, right away. <laughs> so it's all the way on that end, so I'll warp there. It's basically on the opposite side that I start at, but anyway... At least I got a nice quick war point there to pop that sucker, and look at that, there's a door behind this one. What the? Whoa! The first one that has something revealed if you actually move it. <laughs> Not just exploding it, but if you move it too. Alright. It's good to go. As are we. How could there be that many, you might think? Well, you shall see. <laughs> Two in here to begin with, as long as we're right by the new door. Uh-oh. How did we end up over here? This is impossible! Well, it is totally possible, because you see, there's an entirely different racetrack <laughs> And yes, only the best of the best racers are here to battle it out for the title of all titles, the master of all bouncers. And I've got to kind of, you know, you know, I got to kind of, yeah, as usual. <laughs> oh, actually, I should see the dialogue uh, when I'm, oh, I can't actually, okay. I was going to say, I thought there might be a little extra dialogue if I attempt to talk to him close by, but no. Welcome to the secret racing course! Only certain racers are allowed to compete here. This course is long. You will need all of your great skill. The prize is a moon power moon. You will participate, of course. Nah, cancel. Noel, don't keep us waiting much longer. Could you imagine if you just said cancel to somebody after <laughs> they asked you something like yes, no, cancel. <laughs> Alright, uh, yes. Let's start the race. Ice Burn Circuit, Class A, and as indicated by the uh, number two over here, there's gonna be a little little bonus after this, with the even harder race dealio going on here. So you better have your racing gear on for the absolute mastery of all things racing. Make sure that you do your bounces true. Oh, that was kind of... <laughs> got a bad angle. <laughs> and as you can see, they're, they're putting up a lot better fight than they did the other time. I think this is what I was thinking of before when I thought that I had difficulties with the racers because, yeah, these are the masterfuls of the masterfuls of the racers. <laughs> So, but they do space out in later laps though, so they, there is a little bit of extra leeway, I guess you could say, so just relax, have a good time. And I think you can actually shortcut by going over that snowy mound a little bit earlier on there, but mm, I'm not too sure about that. I'm just gonna kinda... like, I don't know if it's gonna cost me more time to actually do that, even though it's a shorter route, or if I should just go around the other way and utilize the bounding to my advantage, because remember here, if you touch the snow, you lose all of your bound momentum, so gotta make sure that you keep that uh, going, if possible. <laughs> After all, this is kind of a tricky racing style, that was a nice one there. I had the angles, I had the landings. All went well, and now I got- oh jeez, oh jeez, too low, too low, oh, I'm gonna- I might lap the person in last place. Can I do it? Can I do it? It sure looks like I can do it. Alright, <laughs> let's just call that a race, and get on to the S-Class race. Yeah! Not bad, that was pretty steady overall. Other than the first lap, I was kind of- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our supersonic snowman has no rival! As promised, your moon power moon! Hwah! 
Ice Burn Circuit Class A! Yeah! Don't be scared, we've got another race to do! Finally! Now you will show us some real speed! The final prize is a moon power moon, who <laughs> would've guessed? You are participate, of course! Well, don't come so waiting much longer, okay. I thought there might be something new there. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Here we go. The big boy, the granddaddy of all the races. Now, I wonder if you can get outside the border of that glass tome like I showed you with that glitch before in this room. I might have to play around with that, but anyway. <laughs> oh man, I missed the starting boost. I always miss the starting boost in this game. It's like I don't understand what timing they're looking for. <laughs> and that, as you can see, it doesn't much matter as long as you're skillful enough to keep to stay consistent. But I, I really want to learn how to do that boost. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh no. Don't you dare get ahead of me. No, you don't. No, no. Oh jeez. Oh no. Not the low bounces. It's hard to time. My button presses on lower bounces, it's hard to feel out when I'm gonna hit the ground to do maximum power bounding. Oh, that was a bad angle that I came out of that last turn. Gotta do much... Ooh, bad, bad height! <laughs> I think I'm doing worse this race than I did on my first race. Perhaps I'm trying too hard because this is the tip top of the tournament. I don't know. Oh jeez, I'm bumping you ahead, dang it. <laughs> I want to get a, get away from you to pass you, not bump you ahead. But it's it's so it's so bouncy. Oh, I hit the snow. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Need to get my speed back up. Need to get my speed back up. Okay. We might have this. We might. Oh jeez. <laughs> I better stay in full concentration mode here. Oh jeez. Don't hit the upslope. Please do not hit the upslope. I'm trying to get some nice side bounds here. Yeah, there we go. Get some nice smooth momentums to get through things. This is looking pretty good. Oh, jeez. Okay, can I, can I lap the last place guy again? That would be lovely. <laughs> I think I did, because he went in the snow. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, looks like I did. Wow, that went a lot smoother than I thought it would. I will take it! <laughs> New record! I did do a little better this time. Didn't even notice I was a bit more efficient. Didn't feel like it. Our supersonic snowman has no rival. It's promised your moon boat! And of course you can keep replaying it for the world records and whatnot, but Iceburn Circuit Class S is done. Any dot new dialogue? You have no more prizes, but you are welcome to race. Eh, yeah, they'll keep us any much longer. And finally, I should prop. Stop bounding! <laughs> uh, we'll say yes this time, and I'll just cancel out of the race. Okay, so there's not really anything new there either. Oh, I can't skip the scutscene? <laughs> there's no plus at the upper right, and I cannot mash the plus button any harder or quicker than I am. <laughs> uh, okay, quit. Thank you. Alright, just had to see the dialogue. Alright, anyone else got uh, new dialogue here that... That, uh... Doesn't look like it. Mm. No, I guess not. They don't recognize me as the Grand Champion. Which is, I guess is okay, because I don't want the paparazzi on me or anything like that. So then, now we have more. I could do the Koopa free running, but I don't know. I kind of want to go look around here. Just take a peek, see in the, the deep sea. Is this is this gonna be a moon? I don't know. Is it feel? Wait a second. Oh, I went too far. This was the place. <laughs> I was gonna say, was that a bird or something that moved? But no, no, I just went too far. That's okay. We could just swim right over here. Is it really just as simple as ground pounding this? That would be wow. <laughs> Deep in the cold, cold water. Oh no 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 no! I want. I I thought I could use my fish to save me, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm a little frosty, but I'm okay. Uh, well, actually, I should probably go over to that pipe over there. Yeah, the map is, uh, if you look at the map, it's, you move, you travel around pretty fast here, because it's a pretty, pretty small area <laughs> compared to other worlds. Oh boy. It's a hatless challenge. 
<laughs> we are we're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> but are we doomed? That is the question. I guess I gotta hop between those to get the. Hey, don't leave without. Really? Okay. It's not a hatless challenge. I thought it was. Oh, it is a hatless challenge. Why? Would you... <laughs> I guess it's just to activate all the flowers as we go. So we're just playing jump rope with the moon snakes, which is not scary at all, considering it's a lot easier to jump over these than it is to jump over the actual jump rope challenge. <laughs> I'm also keeping an eye out for another moon, if at all possible, because as you've seen, there is a, a twosie over here, so... I don't see it, though, just yet. I know, don't leave, <laughs> don't leave without me. Uh, I'm just going to take a look-see down from up above here, see if there's anything... Nah, it doesn't look like I'm off track. Okay. We're going! <laughs> oh no! The bonsais! I don't have my hat! So now I'm definitely gonna have to switch sides. Unless I want to take damage. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you would normally get these ringy coiners and yeah, just kind of flip-flop over. And it looks like things are going pretty smoothly here. I'm not even sure if I'll need to switch sides. Just kind of, yeah. Hey, don't leave without me. Uh huh. Okay, so I got this moon running in the flower road, but another moon is. Uh... Oh wait, I betcha because I got my hat back. There's a. Aha! I bet I can use the bonsai. And. Oh, camera, 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 camera. Uh... Happy days, looking back on the flower road. Now, how do I get back from here? <laughs> how about I just do... The... Oh, wait. well, I guess that'll work too. Although I'll lose 10 coins in the process. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I'll just grab one of the bonsais, but it got away from me too quick before I got there. Well, both pipes lead to the same location anyway, and by same location, I mean out. Although the other one will probably poop you out, like, you know, right next to that, but don't really even have to worry about that. Uh, by the way, the five over here are inside the, uh, yeah, they're inside the uh, actual abode dealio going on there. Wait a second, Koopa, oh, that wasn't free running, that was trace walking over here. Yeah, I confused because they both have a little trophy symbol. Well, I guess I could do the trace walking. Wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> well, unless things go horrifically. Because, yeah, there's there's a bonus trace walking now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. It's the same dialogue. You're back and you're in luck. I just scored a new prize to give away. See, new dialogue there. Gonna give it a shot. Sounds fun. Oh, wait, should I have selected no? Well, we'll do that if I fail. <laughs> Where's the cake? Just walk around and follow the arrows on the ground. Arrows disappear after a bit. 90 points. Ooh. And it's icy. Ooh. 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 That wasn't bad, actually. That might be it. I got... I got... Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> that walk was serious business. Boom! This moon power moon is yours. Ooh, yeah, it's hard to go fast on that one because of the the iciness. Uh, you don't have any more, do you? Not a prize you could try for a higher score if you want. No thanks. That's cool. Let me know when you get serious. I think that he's just gonna repeat the same dialogue anyway, so I don't think I missed any dialogue there. Regardless. Uh, alrighty. So... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that, that's point where the camera's pointing, not where I'm pointing. Uh, OP switch. I should probably grab a fish right after this. Probably. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> Go, fish. Go. Go. Yeah, I think I did that little inefficiently. Oh man. I think the fish is actually slower than Mario, so I might just want to go and do some fancy full hat jumps like that along the surface. Probably. Alright, let's try it again. We have no choice but to try it again, even though we're freezing over. <laughs> Don't care about the second jump. There we go, and then we're gonna go long. 
Gonna go over, gonna go into it, yeah! Snow Kingdom Timer Challenge 3! Yes, there's a 3. <laughs> it's a post-game 3, but a 3 nonetheless. Oh yeah, that X down over there. Uh, well... I, I think it's on the lower end of things, actually, not the higher end. Uh, we're gonna see. By the way, you can always use this to shortcut up to the top if you would like to, but... I don't think this is where I am looking for something. <laughs> is it actually back at... Oh, I see a moon over there just hanging out. Is it actually... No, it's not that. I was going to say, is it actually that interior of that, of that again? But no. Uh, wait a second, is that... How is this... Hmm? Is it underneath this? It's always sneaking stuff in places. <laughs> Okay, let's just go up top and take a look-see around. Any moon? Any moon? Oh, I hear... Oh. Well, that's not very, uh... That's not very hidden at all, actually. I probably can do... This. Grab... My blustery buddy and walk him up here. I think you can walk it up here if you're... If you're... Persistent enough, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Maybe I don't even need to do this, because I can just hop off the... The top of the Odyssey. And now I feel obligated to show that this is possible. Oh, geez. Because, yeah, normally what they do is they sit uh, along the same height that you grab them at. But you can actually walk them up a little bit over here. Look at that. See that? See that? Yeah! Like a pro. <laughs> Shining on high. And, yeah. But if, Oh, I should also show you this. As soon as you take them off the ledge... They'll just kind of meow back to their height that they were before, and then you gotta gotta walk them back up again. Anyway, um, I guess I could go over to that moon that I seen over. Uh, wait, no, it was on the other other direction. Dang it! Me and my directions are always the bane of my existence. <laughs> yeah, it's just a moon sitting over there. It's one of those green star moons. I got that rap before, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I want to assume I did. I'm pretty... Yeah, I, I think I did, because it was jumping around those two dealios, just having a good time. You know, those two platforms there. And... That's probably one of the easiest post-game moons you'll ever find. About the freezing fishing pond. I mean, it's, you don't even, like, slide into anything. You, just, you could even just, like, hug the mountainside, and all will be well. Yeah, so I'm coming close to something here. Is it in the... That's it? You put it over here? Green Star Moon! Ice Flow Swimming. Uh... <laughs> uh, I should probably get out of here as I'm getting a little on the nippy side. Uh, there we go. Let's see here. I should probably flip-flop over to that there. It's not real... I mean, yeah, there is sort of like a warping spot, but eh, it's not that warping. <laughs> and you know, if I did a roll here, I'd immediately just roll right into the water. Actually, maybe I will warp over there and then go straight over to the left. And which way did the camera point me here? Wait, it's this way, right? Right? There we go. Okay, I was looking at the compass there. Whoops, I want the long jump. Yay! Let me guess, another green star moon just sitting in the middle of a pond or something? <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's not that one, at least. Uh, oh wait. Hello. This fish here doesn't seem to mind the unbelievable cold, but how? I wish I could see one up close. Oh, I'm supposed to hop a fish up here. Okay, so where is the nearest fish? I forgot all about this one. I guess you're the nearest fish. So unfortunately for you, you're going to be my victim of body takeover. <laughs> Alright, so it's not that hard to hop it up there or anything like that, if I recall correctly. It just, it takes a while because, you know, you're a fish out of water. Go, fish, go! Go! See, you notice that it's, yeah, you have a little bit of traction, but it just takes a little bit to... There we go. Here, fishy, over here! <laughs> mm, yes, round belly. The mouth has an intriguing shape. Natural cold sink. Got it. I do believe I have solved this freezing fishy mystery. Have a moon. <laughs> I'm at a snow cheap cheap. 
<laughs> you have the advance, the cause of knowledge! Yay, science! Uh... Oh yeah, I could get one over by the Takatu as well, I suppose, before I finish off the part. Now I'll do Koopa free running and the remaining of those challenges inside. There's like four on each of those individual paths and then one in the middle main area, if I remember correctly. Oops, in the wrong direction again. <laughs> uh, okay. Just gotta zero in on where the poop and what the scoop that is. It's probably all the way up on top of one of those ice dealios. Oh, I want to backflip and then take... <sighs> As I say, I want to backflip and then take over your body, but this is not working anywhere... <laughs> anywhere close to his plan. I can't even, like, grip onto the wall completely to do a wall kick. Ah, oh, fine, fine. I should actually probably do this from the very top using the, uh... Using this one, anyway. You know, the other blustery baddie up here, because it's got the higher height and I could just basically go anywhere with it, which is probably the better better method anyway. Oh! Whoa! Ha ha! And... Uh, okay, so it's around the right side here. According... Oh, I see the sparkle. Okay. Oh, actually, I, th I think I did need to take that one, because this one's pretty high. <laughs> It popped out of the ice, indeed! I don't know how you can't see it through the ice, because there's there's definitely some transparency going on here. So you can see the moon pipe through the bottom right corner of this. Watch closely. Uh-huh. So how, how do we ne- uh, How could you never- not, Like, never see that? It's impossible! I don't know, game logic. But with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part where we tackle Koopa free running as well as the moons down in there. Be excited, because they're gonna be fun. Probably. <laughs>